guys, today is going to be the monthly haul update. So this will be everything that I bought in the month of March. I think we're in April now. So everything that I bought in March and this could be probably the biggest haul that I've ever done. So I'm gonna try to show you the box that I have here. And it's honestly pretty, wow, ridiculous and heavy because this thing is so full. And I also have more stuff on the side, so. Grab a snack, it's probably going to be a very long video. But before we get into the haul, I actually want to share something else with you guys because Pinch Me was nice enough to reach out to me to ask if I wanted to do an unboxing of one of their influencer boxes. So I looked up their website and I thought it looked really cool. Plus I've also seen other people do this. So I kind of knew about it beforehand, but I wasn't really that familiar with how it worked. So let me just tell you a little bit about this. If you don't want to hear about this at all, I will leave a timestamp on the screen for you if you just want to skip to the haul part. So basically what you do is you go on their website, you fill out a form and just kind of create a profile and all of this is free. You don't have to put in your credit card or anything like that. It is only available to the US though, so I'm sorry to all of you guys who are not in the US. But basically after you have completed your profile, I have something that is called Sample Tuesday, which is normally the second Tuesday of every month. So the one that is coming up is going to be on April 9th, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm trying to get this video up before that in case you guys want to check this out. And so obviously I haven't gone through this process myself, so I don't know how it is to actually be a customer because I got sent this box. So this is just what they have told me that this is how it works. So like I said, they have the sample Tuesdays. So you basically go on there when they release the samples and then you pick up the samples that you want to try and then they send them to you for free. And then all you have to do is you have to go on the site and then review them afterwards. And that's pretty much it. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. And I have kind of peeked in this box and I thought that all of the products were kind of cool like I wasn't expecting the stuff that is in here to actually be in this box so let me show you so here is how the box comes obviously like I said this is an influencer box so these are going to be maybe bigger samples than what they would stand out in the regular boxes but I still thought it was pretty cool like especially because the first thing I see in here is chocolate <laughs> so this is a little cookie square and it says dark chocolate with a pinch of sea salt and like I am all about the chocolate and I also got a Lindor chocolate and I like Lind chocolate. So super happy about those two things to start off. So we also have a lot of other things in here as well as, oh, I guess more chocolate. <laughs> Ooh, dark sea salt chocolate. I am so here for the dark chocolate sea salt. So we're gonna move into like more of the kind of makeup-y stuff. So as you can see, there's like a bunch of everything. We also even have a Keurig cup, which is a coffee. So you guys know I love coffee, that's perfect. So like so far for me, this box is amazing. <laughs> so it's almost like they tailored it to me even though I never told them what I liked. So this is kind of cool. Next up, we have something from Skinny Girl Mommy. And this is a soothing body oil. Like this is not really something that I would probably ever use. Let's open this and see what it smells like. It just smells very fresh. Um, I'm not really even sure how I would use this. So it says to condition and soothe, apply externally all over body. All right, well, <laughs> I guess I might have to try it. Next up in this box looks to be a multivitamin. So, you know, can't really have enough multivitamins. I take one every day already. So I guess I'll try a new brand. I don't think this is something that would come in the other boxes. I feel like this is probably more for the influencer box since it is a full size product, but I'm sure you can get like smaller versions of the same things that I'm getting in here. And next up in the box is actually one of the things that I was the most excited about. And this is actually from Drunk Elephant. I've never tried anything from them. And this is their sunscreen. So it's basically like 15 mils of sunscreen in here. So that is awesome. I'm really excited to try that out. <laughs> so the next thing in here is like super random. It's an ultra clean disinfecting wipes. So I guess I'll clean up my makeup desk after. <laughs> we also have some blister care, which, you know, can never have too many of those. And then something else in here that I've actually tried before that I love. This is the RX nut butters. I am a huge fan of these. I think these are delicious. I love nut butter, any nut butter. So this is great. Oh, there's also a sample of a pure clay mask by L'Oreal. So you can see there's a very big variety of brands and I can imagine with the samples that they have on their site and the fact that you can actually choose your own samples that they are going to have even more different brands and products. So I might actually like sign up for this myself after this because this is so cool. So next up we have a daily peel, Alpha Beta Daily Peel by Dennis Gross. I have no idea what this is. I've never tried a peel of any sort, so I don't really get what this does. 
Clearly, I'm not very into skincare, but I'm sure a lot of people would get use out of this and really like this. I'm gonna have to look more into it and really figure out what it is before I, you know, tell you guys anything. And the last thing in the box is a native deodorant. I don't know if this is like a natural deodorant or something. Let's smell it. Ooh, that smells so good. It's in a coconut vanilla flavor or smell. <laughs> flavor, that'd be nice. I would eat this. This smells oh, so good. Now, I don't know if this is, like I said, a natural deodorant, which I hate those because they don't do anything for me, but the smell is nice and this could be good to just like throw in your purse or something because it's so small. So those are all the things in the box. I mean, I think this is pretty cool. So I'm very happy that they decided to send this to me. And if you guys want to check it out, I will leave a link down below. It's not affiliated. I don't get anything from this. This is just me sharing with you the service because I thought it was cool. And so I'm going to eat some chocolate before we move on because I need some energy for this because this is going to take forever. Mmm. Alright, let's get into the haul part now. So I guess I will start off with the things that are just right next to me and these are going to be in no particular order because this is a mess. So I'm just going to start off with the Jeffree Star stuff which I'm sure you guys already know that I have. This is the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick Bundle, the blue ones. And I also have the Blue Blood Palette. I have not made so many videos on these, so I'm not going to link them in the corner because I'm not going to have room for all of them, but every video that I mention I will link in the description box. I don't know why I do this to myself, but everything that I mention that I've made a video on, I will link down below if you want to check that out. And I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go through the things that I've bought but that have yet to get to me that I've, you know, ordered or pre-ordered and stuff like that. It's like on its way. So I did end up buying some Glaminatrix shadows and I've been eyeing those on Instagram for so long and I don't know why it took me so long because I thought they were going to be super expensive but then I realized that it was an Australian dollars and Australian dollars is not as high as American dollars so you know I was actually kind of pleasantly surprised at how not expensive it was and I think the shadows ended up being like seven dollars a piece if I'm not mistaken. Obviously shipping was kind of expensive but I've been wanting to try this brand for so long so I'm really happy that I did. So I got six of their shadows and obviously I'll make a video on them when they get here but that could be a while because I don't think they've even shipped so whenever they get here I'll do a video on them and show them to you guys. Something else that I ordered is the Blush Tribe Neon Palette. I know I said previously that I wasn't sure if I was going to get this because most neon palettes just kind of suck and I really don't want to buy something that I'm expecting to be bad and then have to give it a bad review so I mean I'm praying and I'm hoping I'm crossing my fingers that this is going to be pretty good so I don't have to trash talk it that badly because I'm not gonna lie I'm not expecting a whole lot but I do love blush tribe and I do have faith in them and I do hope that they can you know pull through here and come out with a good neon palette and so many of you guys have been interested in it and you want me to review it so that was the main reason why I bought it because I wanted to show you guys and maybe it can help you save your money or you know maybe you'll get a good neon palette out of it the other thing that I also ordered from a indie brand was the Whale Song palette by Menagerie Cosmetics. I'm so excited about this. If you haven't seen it, I'll pop a picture on the screen for you. But this is beautiful. I'm so excited. And between this one and the new Affinity 2 palette that is coming out and the Jeffree Star palette, we're going to be wearing blue all summer. So sorry, not sorry, but you know, I'm going to be reviewing all these. So don't really have a choice, but I'm really happy about it because I love wearing blue. So. Let's see, what else did I get from Indie Brands? I think that's actually it. So we're gonna move into the actual things that I have in front of me right now. So the first thing that I see, I just wanna kinda get that out of the way, is the brush set by BH Cosmetics as well as their Color Festival palette. I've actually bought a lot of palettes this month, but this is the palette that I'm wearing today. I just finished my 3 Looks 1 palette with it if you were wondering what's on my eyes today. And something that just fell out of my box is the Better Than Sex Liner by Too Faced. I've been playing with this for a while now and honestly, this thing is so waterproof that I absolutely love it. It took a little while to get used to because the tip on this is like very bendy. Like I don't want to touch it because it's going to obviously smear everywhere, but I don't know if you can like see, but like it bends really easily and it can create really nice, very thin lines. So it definitely takes a little while to get used to because the tip is so like flimsy if you will. But I really, really, really like this now and I feel like this might become a holy grail for me because I'm having such a good time with this and I really find that, like I said, it's so waterproof and it dries down so fast that even if I go over like the line at the end of my hood here, like it doesn't seep into my line like a lot of liners do, which is great and something that I've struggled with for so long. So super happy I picked this up. So this, I think it was $21. So 
kind of expensive for a liner, but I will keep you guys updated like on how long this lasts. The only thing that I don't like about this is that it doesn't have a pump in it, so you have to shake it up and probably best to store it like upside down like this if you want it to always stay wet. So that's what I've been doing and it's been working really well for me. And I'll just get these out of the way because I did buy two more of my paint pots because I'm obsessed and I don't ever want to run out and these were half off on the Ulta sale so I grabbed two of them. Something else that I've been wanting to share with you guys for so long, I just haven't really had an opportunity to do so, but I ended up getting the Smashbox Crystallized Highlighter. I have taken it out of the box before, I have swatched it, I have yet to put it on my face. I was going to save it for a first impression, but I'm like, maybe we should put some on now because I really want to try this. This is what it looks like. It is so stunning. Oh, and the packaging, of course, like literally why I bought this. I never buy anything for the packaging, but like, are you for real? Like, are you kidding right now? Like, that is so pretty. So I want to put this on. Should I swatch it for you as well? I think I should. So I don't know if you can see the shift here, but this is a very kind of peachy pink duochrome. And this is just... I don't know how well you can see that, but it is stunning. So let's try this. I've been waiting for this for so long and I really don't want to be disappointed because I am actually going to Ulta today. So if this doesn't live up to my expectations, I'm probably going to take it back. But I do have some highlighter on, but we're just going to put this on top. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that. That is so pretty. You guys know I never really get excited about highlighters, but this is making me very, very, very happy. So I'm really happy I got this. Like this thing was pretty expensive and I'm not gonna lie. I did buy it mostly, you know, to have as like a collector's item because I just think this is so pretty. And the packaging is just everything, but the fact that the highlighter itself is good too. I wouldn't have kept this if the highlighter wasn't good, but I love this. I just... Oh, look at it. It's so shiny and so sparkly and so pretty. And it's like the perfect amount of like intenseness too. Like I don't like the super blinding highlights, but this is looking pretty natural. I think this is so pretty. Oh my god, I'm looking at my box and I'm just so overwhelmed because there's so many things left in it. Alright, so let me pull these out because I've already made a video on these. And these I got from Octoly. These were the Lancome Ombre Hypnos eyeshadow sticks. If you haven't seen the video, I will link that down below. But these are really good and I quite like these. So really happy that I was sent these to try out. Something else that I got from Octoly that I've already mentioned, so I'm not really going to talk about this, but this is the Hypnos Drama Mascara and Primer. I like the primer a lot more than I like the mascara. I actually really, really like the primer, so super happy I have that. I would not buy the mascara with my own money, though. Yeah, I feel like everything that I got from Octoly is, like, in the same group here, but this is the last one, and it's the Rendezvous Lipstick by Ofra. I love this. Something else that I picked up from my Ulta order was one of the Lime Crime lipsticks. This is one of their Velveteens, and it's a very light pink and I said not that long ago that I felt like something like this was missing in my collection and I feel like this definitely fit exactly what I was looking for so I'm happy I picked this up. I will say that this formula is quite drying but I can wear them putting a gloss on top which is usually what I do with lipsticks that are a bit drying so I don't really mind that so just something to keep in mind. Also from Octoly I got this Paul and Joe eyeshadow quad as well as the lipstick. I've also mentioned these in a video where I swatched all of my unused lipsticks and this is what the lipstick looks like. Really cute, really like this, don't like the eyeshadow palette. A couple of things here that I ordered from Colourpop when I got the Just My Luck palette. I've done a 3 looks one palette with this, I linked it down below. I also got the Oh Snap Lippy Stick which absolutely love this. I got another liner which is in the shade Fast Lane, which is a dark green. I also ended up getting two of their lip liners. Love their lip liner so much. So I got a bright pink as well as a nude. And then lastly, I got a Supernova shadow that I tried to use today. This absolutely sucks. I hate this. This is the Kathleen Lights and Colourpop collab. It's in the shade Astrology. Don't get this. It sucks. Let me show you. It's I actually tried to swatch it here. It is so lackluster. Like that doesn't really do anything. I tried to put that in my crease and it didn't even show up. So I'm probably going to declutter this like ASAP because I don't like this. 
I asked you guys on Instagram a while back what your favorite sunscreen to wear under makeup was and a lot of you said the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoop. So I ended up picking this up and I've been wearing it every day as my primer and I absolutely love this. This is great. So thank you to everybody who recommended this because I like this a lot. Some other random things that I got from Colourpop was some of their loose blushes. And I had never tried a Colourpop blush before so I ended up getting these two. This is in the shade Parakeet and this one is main chick and i love both of these so much they're not super pigmented but they build up very nicely and they last well on me as well so i definitely want to pick up more single blushes from colourpop and i don't know if they have bronzers but if they do i would love to try them because so far i've been so impressed with like all of their powder products that i definitely want to try like one from every single item in their collection you know what i mean so yeah really like those also from the Ulta sale, I ended up getting two of the ABH Brow Wizzes because I used to love these, but now I've realized that I don't love them as much as I thought I did because I found my CoverGirl brow pen and I've been using that for so long now. I've gone through like three of them in between using these and now that I went back to these, I'm like, these aren't as good as I remembered. So kind of regretting that and I don't think I'll be buying more of them because I really like the CoverGirl one more, I think. From Revolution Makeup, I ended up getting a dark foundation stick. This is like very, very dark, but I wanted to kind of try using this as a contour stick because that is something that I, I said before, but I want to get into more cream products. And since I have some cream blushes and stuff, it's just been kind of weird to like not use a contour before putting on a cream blush. I don't know, to me, it's just a little weird if I don't like do all of the cream steps. I feel like I need to do all of them or none of them, you know what I mean? Like, it's just weird to just put on blush first. I don't know, to me, it doesn't make sense. So I ended up getting this, I've tried it once. I liked it, but I need more practice learning how to like blend out creams on top of my foundation because that's just not something that I've really done before. I also ended up getting this on a recommendation from you guys. And this is one of the Benefit Mini Blushes. And I got the shade California. And this is what I'm wearing today. It might not be that bright. Maybe I should put on a little bit more. But this is just like a beautiful kind of corally shade. And I like how this builds up a lot. I think this is so summery and so cute and so pretty. And it's not super pigmented at first. And I like that in blushes. I don't like blushes that go on super pigmented. I like them to be buildable, but still be able to build up to a nice pigment. So really happy I got this. And now I am definitely interested in trying to morph their blushes. The reason why I didn't like them in the past was because I had one of their blush bar palettes and I hated that thing. The formula on those were so bad, but this definitely seems to be a different formula and this actually performs way better. From Physicians Formula, I got the Bronze Booster kind of contour palette and I love the product. I hate the packaging. I've shown you this before, but this is how you open it and you really can't open it more than this before like the thing inside kind of flips up and it's just, it's super annoying, but the contour shade in here, the middle one, it's just, it's perfect for me. I love this. So I would probably keep using this even though I hate the packaging. I wish I could depot this, but I'm so bad at depotting stuff. So I don't know if I want to ruin this by trying, but maybe I should. Let me know if you ever try to depot like a plastic palette like this and how would you go about that? I don't know if this is magnetic or not. It doesn't look like it is. But I don't know, maybe it's possible, let me know. Next up I have two lip glosses and one is from Alme and this is the Goddess Gloss. I think this is so beautiful. I did use this in the video. I think it was the 10 Looks 1, one palette that I did with the Riviera palette. So let's just talk about the Riviera palette because I did buy this this month. I've made so many videos on these. I will link those down below. Okay, I am so sorry for this little bit of a switch over but yesterday when I was filming this haul, uh, my memory card got full and that never happens and so I went to start editing and I realized that the last 15 minutes of this video was nowhere to be found so I'm back and I didn't feel like refilming the whole video so we're just going to you know jump in where we left off so I still have a bunch of stuff in here that I want to talk about so let me just start off by talking about the product that I actually got cut off talking about so this is one of the uh LA Girl Glitter Magic Shimmer Lipsticks. When I bought this, I thought it was an eyeshadow. So um, yeah, I will show you why I thought it was an eyeshadow because I thought it was going to be just like a shimmery, glittery. I don't know why I thought this was an eyeshadow, honestly. So I think it's the name of it because it's called Glitter Magic. And I just assumed this was for the eyes. And also the different colors that they had on the website didn't really look like lipsticks. And like, I would love to wear this on my eyes, but this is probably not eye safe, but this is so pretty. Maybe I should put this on because I have yet to try this and I feel like it could maybe layer nice on top of what I have on today. That's 
actually quite pretty and it smells so good. It smells like strawberries. It smells very fruity. I really like this. I will say that it's uh, a little bit wet, so just be careful if you plan on picking up one of these. I don't know why you would, but yeah, this is kind of cool. It's not, I mean, obviously it's not what I thought I bought when I bought it, but having it now, I'm not mad at it. So yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. So also from LA Girl, I ended up picking up more of their neon liners because I'm obsessed. And I already had one, I had this one in fresh, which is the turquoise. And I ended up getting three more. I got the blue one, the yellow one, and the green one. And I don't know if they have any other ones, but I do want to get them, even though I did just see that ColourPop came up with their neon liners. And now I'm like, I don't know how I feel about that because I feel a little bit betrayed because I used to be such a big fan of the ColourPop liners and I would have bought those if I didn't have these. And now I kind of feel obligated to buy those as well because I do love them so much. So not really sure what I should do about that, but I feel like you can never have too many liners, you know? So I might end up picking up the ColourPop ones though, just because I just, I like ColourPop and I want to support them even though they don't need my support at all. But I just, I love ColourPop. I can't be the only one. I also just want to mention that I did do a large uh, Wet n Wild haul and I did post a whole video about the products that I have in that haul so I'm not going to pull all of those products out from my collection because that is going to take forever to really remember everything that I bought in that haul so if you want to see everything that I bought from Wet n Wild I will link that up in the corner so you can go check out the video I did a get ready with me testing out a bunch of new stuff and I really liked a lot of the things that were in that haul, so I was very happy about that. Um, next up, I bought two things at H&M, which I know you're like, H&M, really? So I bought a lipstick, which was in one of my lip swatching videos. This is in the shade Biscotti, which is a very interesting kind of poopy light brown shade. And I just, I thought this was fun. It was something that I didn't have in my collection already, so I felt like it was kind of filling a gap, if that makes sense. To me, every time I buy something that I don't have in my collection already, I'm like, oh, it's unique to my collection, so obviously I need it, right? Right, right. So I also ended up picking up one of their highlighting palettes because I saw this and I thought it was so cute. And basically this is like a duochrome highlighting palette and I've only used one of the shades and I don't remember which one, but the one that I used I was not impressed by. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. Let me see if I can do some swatches here. So yeah, I mean, they look pretty on the arm, not that you can really see that, but I do want to keep playing with these a little bit. I, like I said, my first impression wasn't great, so I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to feel about those, but you know, it's fun to try makeup from H&M because I've heard a lot of people say really good things about their makeup, so you know, thought I would give it a chance. Um, from MAC, I ended up getting a lipstick and funny story, I told this story in one of my other videos, but I basically went into MAC and this lovely guy that works there that I always talk to, I was talking to him about like how I had never really tried any of the MAC lipsticks and I was like, hey, why don't you just pick out a lipstick for me? It doesn't matter what color, it doesn't matter what formula, just pick out a bullet lipstick. So when I said I haven't tried any lipsticks, I meant like bullet lipsticks because I'm not really into that. But I'm trying to get into it, and the one that he picked up for me was this one. It's the Retro Matte Formula in Flat Out Fabulous. And this one is so beautiful, it's so comfortable, it's still matte. I love this so, 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 so much. I'm so happy I have this. And I can see why people really like MAC lipsticks now, because they are, they're great. Like, they're beautiful too. So, I also really like the packaging. They're just like nice and sleek, and I don't know, I'm here for it. So, I really like it. Next up, I'm going to be out of breath by the end of this video, even though I already just started filming it. I feel like I talk so fast in my haul videos for some reason, and then when I'm doing my tutorials, I feel like I talk so slow, but it's probably because, you know, you're focusing on something at the same time as doing makeup, so it's a little bit harder. But this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. You guys actually told me to buy this because you said it was going to be a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, and I don't know if I would necessarily agree with that. I think this is quite different in a lot of ways. I think the consistency of this is very different. I feel like a lot of drugstore products, like face product, has that kind of texture where it feels like there's a moisturizer mixed in with the product. I don't know if that's something in here that makes it cheaper and that's why they put in like this... I don't, I don't even know how to explain it, but <laughs> there's just something about this formula that makes me feel like there is moisturizer inside of it. But it is kind of thick, but it's also kind of smooth and creamy. It's not like that drying kind of thick consistency that the Tarte Shape Tape is, but I really like this. That's where I was going with this, is I really do like this concealer. I think it's great. I think the shape match is really good for me. I have mine in C3. It's what I'm wearing today. It's what I've been wearing in my last 
two weeks of videos, I think, and I really like this. So the only thing that I can say that I don't like about this is that there's only four grams of product in this, which is not a lot because the foundation that I, or the concealer that I've been using is the Too Faced Born This Way, which has 15 grams in it, which I know is not typical for a concealer, but four grams on the other hand, that's, it's not that much. So I don't know how I feel about that. I haven't really calculated the price. I don't remember exactly how much this costs, but I feel like it's not that good value, even though it's like cheap. You don't get a lot of product in it, so you're probably going to have to rebuy it again very soon. All right, moving on. Next up, I have some blushes that I want to talk about. And the first one is one that I got in my BH Cosmetics haul. And this is the Floral Blush in the shade Fiji Fun. So it's a very kind of cool toned blush with a little bit of a peachy shift to it, I would call it. And this is really, really, really pretty. I will say though, it is so pigmented. Like so, 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 so pigmented. I will show you the brush that I've been using with this. <laughs> and this is it. So you can see this is so fluffy. Like it barely has any density to it at all. And even when I gently like tap into my blush like this, and I tap it off and I go to apply this. I'm not going to put any more on because this isn't really going to go with my look, but it is still so pigmented. So you need to be so light handed with this, especially if you're like on the light side, which I am, but I can see this being so beautiful on someone who's like a medium skin tone. This would probably be perfect, but I really like the shade of this. I think this is stunning. Um, a blush that I didn't necessarily like, I know I mentioned this in another video and this is the Milani Luminoso blush. I know this is so hyped up, a lot of people love this, this is like their holy grail blush, but for me, it's a little bit too powdery, I just, I don't get the hype, like I'm sorry, but maybe I've just got a different preference when it comes to blush formulas, because I wasn't really a fan of this, but you know what, that's totally fine, like not everyone can like the same things, and if you like this blush, that is awesome. Another blush that I bought is from the Sephora collection, this is in the shade Over the Moon, and it's kind of like a purpley blush, but this is so beautiful. And what I like about this is that it's not completely matte, but it's also not like a shimmery blush. It's like somewhere in the middle and it's very buildable. It doesn't go on very pigmented at first, but you can really build it up if you want it to be more intense. And I love that about it. It's also quite long lasting. And I find that this color is just very unique. Like I haven't seen a lot of blushes in this shade. So I really like this. Next up I have some lip products and then I have one more thing and we are done. So I don't know how long this video is going to be, probably like half an hour, I'm sorry about that. But next up I have a gloss stick from the Sephora collection. I don't think this is actually called a gloss stick, but that is my definition of what this is. And it says it's a Rouge Smooth Shine Lip Crayon. So it's basically a gloss stick. So this is what it looks like. It's got a very thin applicator on top here and it's very, very shiny when you put it on. It's not like a gloss, but it's somewhere between like a cream lipstick and a gloss, I would say, but I really like this. The one that I got is in the shade Key Bella. Is that how you say? Key Bella, Q Bella, Quee Bella? I don't know. But either way, I like this a lot. A lipstick that I was actually wearing before I put on the LA Girl one is the Sugar Pill one in the shade Cubby. I can thank my friend Prularu for making me buy this because she was lip swatching this in one of her declutter videos and I saw it on her and I was like, that is beautiful, I need that. So I got it with my last Ulta order and I do not regret it. Something that I do regret from that order though, I don't know if I wanna say I regret it yet because I've only tried it once, but this is one of the new Ofra Flexi Slick lip products. I don't, want, I don't know if I wanna call this a gloss or if I wanna call this a lipstick. I don't even think it says on it, but I think it was supposed to be a gloss. When I saw this, I first thought it was going to be like a dupe for the Fenty Gloss Bombs. I don't know, maybe it was like the packaging that kind of drew me in, I don't know. But to me, this is like a, imagine if a bullet cream lipstick was in a tube, like this is what I would kind of explain this as. And it's very, 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 very creamy, but it's also kind of thick and it's a little bit sticky, but not like too sticky. And the shade of this is nice. It's a little bit too nude on me, like maybe a slight bit too nude. Uh, maybe if I wore like a darker lip liner with this, this will look nice. I have yet to make up my mind on this. I felt like when I put it on and when I rubbed my lips together, it looked really weird. Like, you know, like how it balls up in certain places and it didn't look smooth anymore. So I don't know how I feel about this. I'm gonna have to keep drying it out for a little bit and then I will come back and give you kind of an update. So for now though, not super impressed, but I feel like my mind could be changed on this and I really want this to work because this is the kind of lip product that I feel like I would gravitate towards in the summer when it's really hot out. So 
yeah, I feel like I'm on the fence on it. It's one of those things that I want you to work so bad that I kind of want to say that I like you to convince myself that I like it, you know what I mean? So yeah, not sure how I feel about that. So last up, I just want to talk about a toner and I am not someone who tries out a lot of new skincare products, but this month I bought this toner from Skin & Co. And this is the Truffle Therapy Essential Face Toner. And what I like about this is that it is alcohol free. And for someone like myself who tends to break out a lot, mostly hormonal, <laughs> let's be honest. And the thing I like about this is that it doesn't really like sting my skin when I rub it over, which a lot of other toners do. And I don't like the feeling of something burning my skin when I put it on, even though I'm sure it's like exfoliating and it's good for your skin to like really get in there and clean things out. but. This to me is just wonderful. It smells so good. It feels nice and gentle along my skin. Oh, it just smells like really fresh and I love this. So I've now used pretty much the whole bottle and I am definitely going to repurchase this. I am happy that I found a toner that doesn't really irritate my skin that I feel like has pretty good ingredients. You know, as far as I know, and I know nothing about skincare, so all I know is that it's alcohol free and that's supposed to be better for your skin than something that has alcohol in it, so take that for what you want. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a skincare expert at all because I barely buy skincare to try out, but I wanted to try a new toner and I'm really happy I tried this. I do think this was fairly expensive though. I want to say it was like $25 or something like that. I don't remember. I will try to link everything in this video down below. <sighs> I'm going to hate myself so much when I edit this, so you're welcome. So I think that is going to sum up my March haul. This was um, hmm, quite a lot of makeup, if I can say so myself. Uh, although I'm really happy with it. most of the things that I bought. I don't really regret a lot of these purchases. So yeah, I think I did pretty good. Um, I don't know why I feel the need to buy all this makeup, but here we are and yeah. <laughs> Makeup is fun. What can I say? So yeah, that's going to I guess some of this haul video That was a very weird ending to a video, but just gonna roll with it So thank you so much for watching as always if you are new to my channel and would love to see more makeup every month Maybe you want to subscribe. I don't know, but yeah <laughs> I'm so all over the place. I'm I apologize. I will just see you in my next one <laughs>